What's up guys, Dr. Bo here, and today we are taking another deep dive into the world of chronic stress. If you guys have been following our series this entire month, we have been talking about what we call acute care stress and chronic stress. Acute stress being life or death situations, car accidents, major emergencies, and things that make your body absolutely be on point. Now, chronic stress, as we talked about, are things that are chronically building over time, like tension at work, times when your kids are driving you crazy, and all of the world craziness that is happening right now. We also discussed in some of the last videos, along with Dr. Jordan, that chronic stress is bad for your body. We touched upon the fact that there are two main systems that run our entire body, the sympathetic system and our parasympathetic system. The sympathetic system being that fight or flight system and the parasympathetic system being that what we call rest, digest, and chill. Now, as we spoke about prior, if your body is in a constant straight state of chronic stress, your body will start setting off little alarms. And the alarms are usually in forms of pain, which basically tells your brain, hey, pay attention, something's going on here. So those things are like migraines, tension headaches, inability to sleep, insomnia, upset digestion. Basically, these are little alarm clocks basically trying to remind your body that, hey, look, I am under so much stress and I'm sounding the alarm and if you do not do something, the body is set to go into major breakdown mode. And those breakdown modes, like we spoke about, can result in things like sickness, illness, dis-ease, or ultimately disease. Now, if you're like everyone else right now in the world and you're completely stressed out, I wanna give you just three small tips that you can do today to start to lower the amount of chronic stress that your body is under. So, I have my handy dandy little piece of paper here. here. The first thing and the thing that most people think about when they talk about reducing stress is simply enough reducing muscle tension that is throughout the body. Things like massage, things like sitting in a hot tub, maybe heading up to Sycamore Hot Springs and sitting in uh, the, the warm Sycamore Mineral Springs to help your body relax. Getting in a place of warmth and allowing the muscles, which are under so much chronic tension, to actually relax. You know, people relax at different places. Some people like the beach, some people like a lake, some people like just sitting literally laying on the ground flat on their back in their backyard. But wherever it is, if you can take five minutes to yourself and just go to that place and breathe. That's right. So the second big thing is we want to restore movement into the body. And the first type of movement that I always speak about is breath. When our body is under a state of chronic stress, we are typically only breathing with our upper respiratory system and about half of it, which means our lungs are not filled with as much oxygenation, or excuse me, with that much oxygen, which means it does not oxygenate all the tissues. And the reason we see that is because most people are over here at these desks where they're hunched over and your body's not allowing itself to fully breathe. So we've done videos in the past on diaphragmatic breathing. If you don't know what that is, I encourage you to go check out some of those videos. But ultimately, I would love for you to take just one to two minutes a day, that's all I'm asking, and to do some diaphragmatic breathing. In addition to that, guys, getting out and having movement in the body, in my opinion, is so vitally critical. It may be one of the most critical things that you can do. In a world of COVID right now, where we're being told to basically stay indoors as much as we can, this is one that I will tell you that I will optimally break every single day. And the reason being is your body needs movement. And if you can get outside in the sun, which will help to increase your vitamin D levels, do it in a safe environment, obviously trying to stay whatever, socially distanced or whatever. But movement, guys, is so important. Move your body, go for a walk. If you can go for a walk at that beach or that lake and breathe, man, you're knocking out one, two, three stones at a time. And you're doing incredibly wonderful. And then lastly thing, along the same lines as movement, 
exercise, vigorous exercise is really, really good to help obviously flush the body with endorphins, help detox the body. Matter of fact, did you know your number one detox uh, area in your body is actually through your skin? That's why when you sweat, you're actually pushing toxins out of your body. So guys, I know we are under so much stress these days. Chronic stress is killing so many of us. Matter of fact, I really believe that the amount of chronic stress is very relevant to the amount of sickness that's happening here, especially in the United States. When we see chronic stress elevate, we also see sickness elevate. So try to do some of these things. Number one, find a relaxing place. Number two, work on your breathing and your movement. Number three, exercise, and number four, if I could have one, guys, eat really good foods, drink lots of water, and ultimately, just kind of be happy. You know, I don't know how about you guys, but I walk around every single day, all throughout our community, people are just down. They're just, heads are down, they don't look at you. God forbid you can smile. Well, heck, I don't even know if you can see a smile because everyone's wearing these masks now. But guys, take a minute, just walk around, smile, say hi to people, connect with them, eyes on eyes at least, and just say, hey, hope you're doing good. Merry Christmas. Hope things are good. All right, guys. I hope some of these uh, little tips and tricks and strategies that we've been talking about all month long have helped you guys out. If they have, let us know. We'd love to do this. You know, our goal is to help educate you guys so you guys can live a more healthy, happy, and abundant life. All right. Have a great one, guys. Finish the rest of this year amazing. Finish it strong. And we're all looking forward to leaning into the next year. I'll talk to you later. Bye.